Knowing this map's probably gonna take probably gonna take me to go over for a little bit. Oh well, it's well worth it. Here, have some chip damage. I'm willingly sacrificing my units for the greater good of the world, and I feel no shame. Almost done. Yes, yes. You shoot in my tank. You shoot in my copter. You shoot in my infantry. You shoot in my tank. Hot kettle black. Ah, oh, my fighter! Here! Die! Please! I want this map to end already! It's gone on for too long. Well worth the punishment. Darn. Ah. Almost, almost. Oh boy, who
Empty tank? What's that? I'll see you in hell! I don't need to build any more units. We're done. We've got this map in the bag now. Is this your last attempt at being useful? I don't think it's working. Here, have a bomber. On the house. Here, have a tank. On the house. Die. Die. Die! I said die! Die! I just don't get it. I just don't get people like you. The world's gone, brother. Ain't nothing out there we're fighting for. And yet here you are with your friends and your hope. I don't get it. You ought to worry about you, just like me. We'll need our help when we rebuild this world. That's what you'll never understand. Yes! Hey, Rank! It's time to take down Greyfield. Whew, I never got an A rank on this one. I always get a B rank. We got the wounded off of the battlefield. Is everyone accounted for? Um, Will? What is it? Over there, there's someone in that building. Okay, let's check it out. Hmm. Sorry, Isabella, I just don't see anybody. And I can't imagine anyone would be here during a battle. Good day! Please don't mind me. I'm just conducting a little research. Ah! Um, hi there. Ah, Will. It is so very good to finally meet you. I believe you are the new commander of Brenner's Wolves. Congratulations, our winner. Get away from me! What in the... How do you know that? Who are you? And why are you taking notes in the middle of a war? My name is Dr. Calder. As for my copious note-taking, well, I am researching the effects of warfare on the human spirit. You're doing what now? Ever since the meteors, I, tra I have traveled this world observing and recording. Those falling stars were a true boon for men of science like myself. I have always wanted to observe a man in a world reduced to utter chaos and destruction. In truth, I have never been so happy. You're researching us? I have been able to witness and document the true nature of humankind. I have watched people fight among themselves as their food supplies ran dry. I have seen villagers panic at mere rumors of disease and famine. I have observed it all, and I have found it to be FASCINATING! You're disgusting! No, merely curious! At first, I had myself with the Lazurian army. I wanted to see how war would be conducted in a world without law. But that foresight had misplaced chivalrous spirit, and it was little use to me. Foresight was epic! You watch your mouth, old man! I offered him all manner, all manner of terrible new weapons, but he denied me every turn. Little men such as he have always stood in the way of human progress. General Forsyth was a decent, honorable man. Qualities like that I hope will no longer be respected in this new world of ours. At any rate, I have no use for him. So I turned instead to the one devoid of all morality, Admiral Greyfield. He embraced my weapons. Even now, he prefers to use my masterpiece. You... You're evil! Huh? Dr. Morris once asked me if I believed in evil, in people who felt glad the world was destroyed. Now I know they exist. I'm looking at one. Why a more emotional man, I might be hurt by such words. I have done nothing wrong, Will. I am the very model of an objective, scientific observer. Like all men of science. SCIENCE! I have merely followed my heart and studied what has interested me. But I see you will never understand that. A pity! Wait! Oh, before I forget. I must recognize all the hard work my daughters, my daughters have been putting in. We are making steady progress. To carry on. Uh, ah! Isabella! What did you do to her? I suggest you speak to her instead of me. She doesn't have much time left. You! Gravekeeper's on his way with my masterpiece in his hands. 
Whatever will happen? Hmm. I think I'll need more notepads. Uh, Isabella, can you hear me? Are you okay? Y yes. I'm sorry, Will. I was so worried. That man. I've seen him before. Where? I don't know. I don't know who he is or where I met him, but I know him. He's a very, very frightening man. After what we learn, I believe her. Good heavens, Dr. Calder is alive? Oh, Dr. Mars seems to know this man. You know him? I know of him, and more than I'd like. Calder is an inf infamous figure in the medical world. A mad genius despised by all his contemporaries. He was thrown out of the medical academy for conducting bizarre, unethical experiments. A year later, he sustained terrible injuries and suspicious plane crash. This only embodied, emboldened him to continue his horrible research. This world is a much more dangerous place with him in it. Wait, are we talking about the same Calder? The one of charge of IDS? IDS? IDS stands for Intelligent Defense Systems. You see what the Intelligent Systems did there, her, 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 her? Before the Meteors, they were the world's largest military contractor. They had connections at the highest levels of Rubinel government. With contracts in everything from weapons to medicine to food. Whoa. The war between Rubinel and Lazuri was especially profitable for them. Why, he's nothing more than a common war profiteer. Calder said that he gave Brayfield all of his new weapons. He was happy too, like he came with a new toy. He said he wanted to study the results when Brayfield used his masterpiece. Oh dear, I don't really want to know what that is. Isabella, something tells me you know about this. His masterpiece? It must be the Calder missile. That doesn't sound good. Both nations possess enough, possess enough missiles to destroy the other ten times over. Seriously? Calder missiles were developed by IDS and located Ruminel and Lazuria. They were designed to launch at the same time. All of them. Holy shit! In theory, they function as de deterrents. But now... Greyfield, you madman. If those missiles launch, it's going to make the meteors look like... Look like... Funziers! Sorry, even I thought that was bad. We have to stop him. Stopping him is out of, is putting it lightly. We have to rip him to pieces. Let me get to use Waylon now. We're just pretty cool. All right, we've gone on long enough. Next time, Lynn's apparently having a gambit. Guess what, guys? This is also the final fight we'll be having with Greyfield. Yeah! This is Page Night Four Zero Four. I'll see you later, guys.